Hi guys, Jared here. Time for the market video update. Uh, we had a little bit of an inter interesting morning uh, and day in the market. Everything was pretty down. The Dow was about 100 points down, ended up recovering uh, quite a bit to, to close positive. S&P was down a good little chunk, about 12 and 13 points, ended up uh, recovering to about 2 uh, in the negative. Oil is continuing down and gold has made a big recovery, so it's been kind of an interesting uh, day. Nothing happened all morning long. We sat in a trade for hours um, and then finally the market it started to move. Um, we had unemployment claims today that came out a little bit worse than expected. Uh, coming into tomorrow we have the Canadian GDP and then we have no UK news or US news uh, tonight or tomorrow morning so we'll see how those markets go um, uh, as the UK session comes and so on. Uh, we, we saw we, we, we saw a little bit of reversal and kind of head back up on the euro dollar pound dollar um, but the dollar index, uh, this is on the five minute chart, and it did make a little bit of a decline there, but overall, dollar index doesn't look like it's buying it. Uh, it stayed around just, just above 79 here, uh, right between 79, 30, and 80, and it's just been bouncing around in there. And even though we've seen some recoveries on these pairs, the dollar index is not really totally on board there. So here's what we're going to look for. We're going to watch for these levels here. This euro dollar has, uh, remember our, our entry last night was a sell uh, on the euro dollar at 133.00, uh, 132.95. And we saw that we had a very nice sell. The target was 132.50.60 and it easily went down to that very nicely, but only to that and then kind of stopped and started to consolidate right there. Um, and this is a bigger trend line on the four hour chart that we can see. And that's turned out to be a strong turning point on the euro dollar. So now it's going to be, uh, if we get below, you know, if we get back to 132.50, I think the euro is headed down to 13200 minimum and 130, uh, 131.50 is a possibility, but at least to 13200 if we get back to that 132.50. Now we're sitting right here at 13300. Um, this is kind of a, a, a possible point to start looking for buying opportunities, but the market's really been consolidating right here. We're looking for this to break and, and make, uh, make, make a little bit of a bigger run. There is a possibility to buy just above 13300 and kind of try to hold it. Uh, I don't I don't love that, but I think it's I think it's possible if we get a little one hour cross over there and if we can get this to consolidate above 13300 uh, just a little bit, I think we're going to be in good shape and we just want to have those stops just below 13300 here with uh, you know those entries just above. But really the best entry, the real entry here is going to be on this trend line break right here 13330 and we actually have a pending order for that already. So 13330 to buy this thing and take it straight on up. Uh, so that's what we're going to be looking for. Uh, buy the euro 133.30, uh, see where it goes from there. Uh, I think we, we, we've got a good chance of about 134.00 if we get a 133.30 break. Um, so those are kind of the important levels, I think, on the euro dollar right now. The pound dollar, on the other hand, uh, is kind of in between entries. We had we, we, we talked about uh, uh, buying and selling above and below 159.00, and we saw a break above 159.00 for the UK session, and, and a lot of people got into that trade from my notes and from the daily video, and then it broke back down below 15900 which was a sell opportunity and then it got back above 15900 again which was a buy opportunity and now it's just kind of uh, it's kind of bouncing off this trend line there's a little bit of a short term trend line there and i think that uh, uh, I, I think that it's attracted to the 160 area but it's still got to break that if it doesn't break 160 then then there's going to be more chop and we could see a big breakout down coming and I think that is very very possible still so we're keeping our eye on that we're trying to see where that one goes but the pound dollar is more of a wait and see right now uh, there's not really too much we can do besides wait for it to get up to 160 and, and trade the break or trade the bounce or get this back below 15900 which would inspire a little bit of a sell opportunity there Euro yen, pound yen pairs, kind of bumping around. Aussie dollar. So this Aussie dollar is kind of interesting. I, I've been uh, there. There's been a lot of chatter about kind of shorting the Aussie dollar and taking it lower. And all the while, it's been sitting on this big support right here, which is around 103. 60 to 80 and you can see that's a that's a strong level that just goes right through the vein of the market uh, and so I haven't wanted to short this at all and now it's finally bouncing and it looks like we might start to see some little buy opportunities on this pair what I want to see is I want to see some consolidation and some holding just right above this 103.80 area if it does that we have buy opportunity to take this pair up with with 
pretty tight stops. If this starts dipping back below 103.80, uh, then I probably don't want to be in it for too long. You know, maybe about a 20 or 25 pip stop, 25 pip stop probably. Uh, but as long as it can kind of stay above this level, we're in good shape to take this pair much higher. So, so that's what I'm looking for on the Aussie dollar. Uh, it's finally turned, it's broken this trend line, and it looks like it's ready to go if it can stay above uh, this area. Keep in mind with this trend line break, it wouldn't be uncommon to see this come down and just kind of dip and retest this area, 103, 40, 50, uh, before continuing up. And so if that's the case, um, then, then, uh, then, then look to buy on the dip with stops just kind of below this area. But really, I, I like, uh, if this does dip, I like waiting for it to get back above, once again, 103.80 before buying. Uh, so that'll be something to keep an eye on on the Aussie dollar. Euro, or excuse me, on gold, we saw gold uh, really testing this this 61.8, which was around 1654.55. And I talked about if this broke, we should start to get some movement. And this did break, and we did start to get some movement on Euro dollar, Pound dollar, Aussie dollar pairs. And then late in the day, it ended up turning and making a big run up. And now our other level to watch for is this. This is the 50% Fib level coming down, but it's kind of also a significant level. This is right around. I, I, I'm going to call this level. 1663-ish, and it's actually just a little bit, you know, give or take a, a, a buck. Uh, but it's right around 1663, and I think if the if gold gets above this, then we're going to start seeing some bigger runs up back into these highs and into some bigger levels. So keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on the Aussie dollar in that area. We should see some nice runs there. Uh, and those are the only pairs that I'm really focused on for the moment. Uh, the, the Euro Yen, Pound Yen pairs are moving. The CAD's moving a little bit. As you guys know, I don't really trade those. I just like to stick with Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Aussie Dollar. And I think we've got some really great setups on all those pairs. Uh, and I'll have some updated levels posted in the chat as well. Those have been working out fantastically well. The market is really, really reacting to those levels. Uh, and there's lots of pips to be had from that. So best of luck, guys. And I will see you in the chat.